Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Here we are in the wonderful Herefordshire countryside on those pesky crayfish. We're going to do a wonderful, authentic Louisiana style crayfish. Crayfish? Crawfish? Call it what you want, fish. Crawfish boil, stream side. So, what we're going to do then, get the camera down, go and pull the pots, get the crayfish out, get the fire lit. Job is a good one. Right, let's get on with it. So it's always a pleasant surprise, if you can get the clip off, you never know what you're going to get. Life is like a trap of crayfish, there's a few in there, to sate our appetites, I don't think we'll bother with the chicken, but uh, I think we need to get the fire lit and get these beauties cooking. How good do they look? I've got three pots worth. So we're doing this in real time then, my friends. It's beautiful, an absolutely stunning day out here. Got the pot on, bringing it to a rolling boil. Wood mark four. And now it's time to prepare all the goodies and get this bad boy rolling. Okay, my friends, let's get this crayfish boil on the go. So I had two options, Zatarans or Louisiana. The local consensus is this stuff. Obviously you can't get this in the UK, so I had to go and shop for this special. Just check this out. So I'm just popping into uh, the local supermarket to get some sausage. Bit of a long way to come. Some of my friends might know where I am. Just get a parking space. Yep. Spot on. So I've just been into Walmart to come out to this. Some proper, proper snowing. Good old Utah. Just driving along, trying to be all cool, listening to Don Henley's The Boys of Summer. And it just didn't feel quite right. <laughs> but hey ho, we got all the ingredients for my crayfish boil. We just need to fly, fly, fly 5,000 miles back to the UK to cook it. Oh yeah, baby. Pretty cool, huh? So what we need to do then, quickly, open this up and get it into our pot. Oh, that's groovy. Okay then, I didn't know that. In a bag, very, very cool. Let's get that in my pot. And we'll get on and get these beautiful veg into the pot. I am so looking forward to this. Okay then, to build this 
beautiful boil, traditional, what do I know? I'm just an Englishman. I'm going to get the potatoes in. That'll do us. Get a bit of grit in. Get our corn in. Our corn. Get our corn on. This beautiful andouille, which you saw me shopping for. Oh, look at that. Oh, that in. Just going to quarter the onion and get that in the pot. And then a lemon and an orange. Oh, an orange. That'll sway some people. The juice of a lemon then and the lemon in. Juice of an orange and the orange in. Now we just need to let that get to know each other for about 20 minutes. We'll prepare our crayfish and get them in. I need a big spoon. I'm gonna go and cut a stick. I'll be back shortly. So I've just been to the local store then, bought a beautiful wooden spoon. Up there. Add in a bit of cayenne. Give it a stir and let that steep for 20 minutes. So I'm an Englishman, an imposter, cooking a southern classic dish in the middle of rural England. But you've got to admit, my friends, that's looking pretty cool. And we haven't even added the crayfish. Right, moment of truth, we've purged these. You can do that by putting them in some clean water and some salt. Or if you've only got a small amount, you can remove the poop sack. Which Smoke gets in your eyes. So we brought that back up to the boil then. We want to boil that for five minutes. Right then, that's at it five minutes. I am just going to take it off, put it there, and then cover it. Don't know if that'll fit. Will it fit? Yes. And let it steep for 10 minutes. The moment of truth. So I just need to drain this off a minute, a little bit. I'm just going to go off shot and drain it. I'm not going to drain it into the stream. Well, my dear friends, there is a Englishman's interpretation of a crawfish boil. We've got it all in there. We've got the beautiful craze. Look at that. How beautiful is that? The andouille. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try a bit of the corn. Mm. <laughs> oh, my. That was amazing. Potato. It's just all so good. Have a bit of old uh, cray action. Oh. I know a lot of my American friends are like, you know, push the tail, man. I don't think I want that bit. Let's get a nice big boy. He's a big boy, but he's got no claws. Right, let's have a go on this one. Mm. 
So my friends in Louisiana are mostly watching this and going, what are you doing, you stupid English man? But there is the cray. And it's just... Hmm. Lovely. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Bree Project, an English man taking on the soul food of the South. And I'll be honest, I think I did a pretty good job, considering we're in the middle of England. It tasted absolutely superb. It was authentic American andouille, authentic American seasoning, and I think we nailed it. So if you've enjoyed this episode of the SRP, please click my beautiful face when it comes up down here somewhere. Also find me on my social media, you know the drill, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. And if you're feeling generous, please do check out my Patreon page. <sighs> but until next time, I'm going to go home. I do need to lie down. We've been here for hours, for days, but we nailed it. Take care, my friends. And get your crayon. Why not? Scott. Yeah. Come on, man. We wrapped up hours ago. Just one more crane, man. <laughs> <laughs>